Right, here we go. Time to lay some carpet heating. What you'll need is a tape measure, good pair of scissors, a marker pen. Not shown here is a utility knife, which will be a good thing to have to cut into the underlay. With your kit will be various rolls of silver carpet tape. And also in the photo here is your floor sensor, which measures the temperature of the floor in conjunction with your thermostat. Okay, at the start of installation, it's a good idea to plan your layout. And here you can see I've used green insulation tape to mark the boundaries of my rows of the mat. And out of screenshot is also uh, tape marking the end of the runs. Right, to start off your first run, you might be a distance away from your conduits. To enable you to do this, you'll need to cut along the first run of the element. In this case here, we've got 50 centimeters, which is the first run. Uh, in your own situation, you might need more than that. In other words, you can then cut the second and even maybe a third, which will give you a meter or a meter and a half. Okay, we'll come back to sticking that first bit down later. So stick the start down of your roll, roll it out at the correct length, and then cut the foil without cutting the element and make sure you cut it in such that you can turn it through 180 degrees. Again, get your tape and stick the end down. Leave the second bit for later as you'll first stick the tape down along the sides before starting that second row. Before going further with that second part of the roll, we must first place the floor sensor. So to do this, cut through the middle of the foil without cutting the element and then cut two lines with your standing knife about a centimeter apart. This will then enable you to pull up the underlay, as you see here, and then the floor sensor will be able to sit in this recess. So get your floor sensor in the right position, pull it up the wall, get the right placement and then with some tape you can place the end nicely in position between the two elements get some more tape tape the rest of it down and then you can finish off by also taping the foil back down again together Each length of mat is basically rolling out the mat, sticking the tape down at the start of the length and at the end, and then sticking down the sides. So basically of that first run, you would be sticking tape down to all four sides of the rectangle. Okay, the next cut we're going to make is a little different in that we're turning through 90 degrees. So just check your line and make sure you're cutting in the right spot. Basically where the loop is, is like a hinge. And so always make sure that's where you're cutting and always lift up the foil so that you do not cut the element. As you see here, you just flip the foil over through 90 degrees and it enables you to carry on further. Oops, just heading back to this part, just uh, finishing off, sticking down the tape down the middle of the row and the sides. Then you can roll out 
that section that we had changed through 90 degrees. Here again, we are gonna change through 90 degrees. So just making sure you've lifted the foil away from the element and then carefully make your cut across the foil mat. Right, so this installation is actually in a bedroom uh, going around the bed and so before we move on to that second section of the other side of the bed we just measure the first one and then get the same dimension on the strip of heating on the other side of the bed. As mentioned earlier I would placed pieces of green insulation tape in the layout that I thought and planned of around the bedroom. So it is good to place these pieces of tape and make note of all the dimensions or the lengths of each run of the mat and to add all these up to ensure that they all total the, the actual length of the mat. One doesn't want to get towards the end and then run short or conversely get to the end of your insulation and then find you still have quite a lot left over. So one needs to do the planning beforehand. Right, so here we are on that last run, doing another 90 degree turn. So we just measure out the 50 centimeters to make sure you cut it in the right place so that when you flip it over, it'll meet up with that initial mat that you had laid. There we go, flip it over, get some tape tape it down and then you can roll that last length of roll out. So here we are taping again. Uh, it's important to tape the mats together. A, it just keeps them in the correct placement, not uh, overlapping each other and uh, B, it is for the earth continuity. Now the aluminium foil provides the earth, earthing of this mat, and so ensuring the earth continuity is achieved by, by means of taping the various mats together.
Right, so here we are at the start again with that initial strip of foil that one cut off at the start of the mat. At this first strip there is also the factory join from element to the coal tail and so one needs to place this first strip in position, see the length of the factory join and with your utility knife to make two cuts at the correct length of the join and to then pull out the underlay that you have cut and remove this and then position this first strip of foil mat down in place into the recess and then to stick it down with tape. Now we have placed the coal tail at the edge of the underlay. You can run the coal tail between the underlay and the smooth edge. Run the coal tail along the smooth edge until you have your point of entry to go up the wall. When your carpet layer is laying the smooth edge, you can ask him to leave a gap in the smooth edge to enable you to get up into the wall.